Clark Tuescher joins us now to get a picture of the rest of Cardinal Athletics. Clark, although the fact that the football team is playing would say it's fall of the calendar and weather say otherwise, you know, men's basketball had a rocky start, but they get on the board with a victory in a big way. Yeah, they went on the road to Manchester College. They ranked 25th in the preseason, and we're coming off a win against Wheaton College, which is a perennial uh, top team in the CCIW, mm -hmm. and went over and beat them by 10 points. So uh, certainly a, a dramatic turnaround from uh, the day before when they'd lost at Illinois College. So uh, uh, coaches are still trying to figure out how that happened and how they can recreate it uh, for Wednesday night's game against Albion. So uh, obviously some, uh, some signs of life there. And we had kind of talked about in previous weeks how Derek Raritan, it seemed like he needed some help with that scoring load. Well, five Cardinals and double figures, that's pretty much going to help. Yeah, they uh, had subbed a lot uh, in the previous four games, really kind of running guys in and out mm -hmm. regularly. And they, they stopped doing some of that and, uh, and went with some, some longer shifts with guys on the floor uh, playing together. And it seemed to work out pretty well. Uh, you know, we had uh, four of the five starters put up double figures, a couple of which were freshmen. So... Um, Maybe they've got some things figured out in terms of their lineup, which uh, will help them a lot going forward. And the women's uh, squad sitting at 500 after a pretty easy win earlier this week. Yeah, they're uh, adjusting a little better to, uh, to the new style that they're playing. Um, went up against a team that probably wasn't at their caliber uh, on Tuesday. Um, we're able to come up with a pretty easy victory. Uh, so hopefully that can help them uh, build some momentum as they, as they move toward uh, a long stretch of road games here in December. And you kind of talked about it there, the coaching staff trying to figure out their rotations and things. Christine Carl, Jackie Orico have been the two main scorers, but Jenny Swanson looks like somebody that can maybe really bomb it from the outside. She's been a good perimeter scorer since the time she's been at, at North Central, and uh, it's going to be somebody that's going to need to step up and help out from time to time you know, as, uh, as they come up against teams that, that maybe don't defend as, on the perimeter as well. And the uh, wrestling team had Turkey Day weekend off, but they come back with a big tourney in Indiana this weekend uh, before wrestling in front of the home fans in a couple weeks. Yeah, the uh, coaches took mercy on the guys and didn't make them cut weight two days after Thanksgiving, so uh, probably a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly appreciated by those guys. So they're going to go to Indiana for a tournament that they haven't participated in before. A lot of teams, they don't see all that often, so it'll be a, a good opportunity for them to... Uh, to get at some new competition, and then they've got the big tournament, uh, their annual tournament on December 11th. And uh, the team doing some charity work in November and December as well. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, they've started a new promotion called uh, Taking Down Cancer, uh, which they've each wrestler has uh, solicited uh, donors to sponsor them uh, with a certain amount of money toward cancer research uh, for each victory and pin throughout the month of Dece November and December. So mm -hmm. it's kind of on them to see how much money they can raise. Their goal okay. is to raise $2,000, which would be roughly double what they've been raising in past years for the, uh, the annual Relay for Life on North Central's campus in April. And uh, I know it's a little ways away, about five, six weeks here, but indoor track and field, those guys may be starting to freshen their legs a bit. What can we expect uh, going into that season? A uh, lot, of, lot of contributors back from the, the team that, that won both the national championships indoors and outdoors last season. Um, from all the reports that we've seen, pretty much everybody's healthy and, and ready to go. Uh, they're going to appreciate having the, uh, the time here to, to get trained and everything uh, before we start competing in, in January. Mm -hmm. Well, Clark, we appreciate you coming by. Thank you. Time's up for this week's edition of the Red Zone. The Cardinals host Wisconsin Whitewater in the quarterfinals Saturday at noon. Not going to the game? You can catch it live right here on NCTV 17 and NCTV17.com. I'm Alex Simmons. We hope to see you next week.